Welcome to Sonia Podcast. We are talking about Sex Somnia Part 2. So I, I gave y'all some information, you know, and some cases about Sex Somnia. So now I'm going to give you some more information and some more cases. So come along and join me. So I told y'all what sexomnia was. I told y'all um, some of the causes was depression, stress, anxiety, anxiety, previous sleep deprivation, poor sleep hygiene, excessive consumption of alcohol and drugs, or using sleeping tablets. So, Sexomnia by its very nature can have a profound impact on both the person with the condition and their partners. As people with sexomnia tend to have no recollection of the event and can be scary and confusing to learn that they've been carrying out behavior outside of their conscious control. For the bed partner, a range of feelings can be expected, encompassing everything from fear to enjoyment. In 2000, Graham groundbreaking work was published recording studies and experience of people who have experienced sex sleep. In a relationship, it may be understood as just one of those things that happens as the account below suggests. She says, sleep sex is great. My husband initiated while we were sleeping and then we wake up in the middle of the making love. Often it's better when he's asleep because we completely relax and uninhabited. However, given the nature of the behavior, it may be hard for the bed partner to understand the fact that this behavior is not deliberated. Now, here go a bad one. She said, during his sleep sex episodes, he become very aggressive and violent and then claims he does not remember anything. I had to call 911 last night because of a violent assault. In extreme cases, sex zombie has led to accusation of sexual assault, including rape, although the conditions have been used successfully as a legal defense in some such cases. A diagnosis of sex zombie can often leave a person feeling shame, guilt, or depression. For both the person experiencing sex zombie and their partner, it's critical to speak to a sleep specialist and often consulting with a therapist may be recommended to help both parties with the diagnosis. So... There has been 90 cases of sex zombie in the literature from nine different countries, including United States and United Kingdom, found that 82% of offenders was male. In 97.98% of cases, those charged presented amnesia as a defense. In about a third of the incident review, there was also reports of aggressive and violence. 14% of the cases result in legal proceeding. Sex zombie is now formally recognized as a psychiatric disorder has been included in the standard diagnosis manual, essentially the Bible of psychiatric disorder. However, difficult in clearly defining such behavior in the possibility of falsely claiming sex zombie as a defense can cause difficult for a judge and a jury. So let's take the Luke D Luke Decky um study in sex zombie. He said Okay, the the incidents ha- occurred in Canada. It was in Toronto in 2003. During while he's consumed a large amount of alcohol and some magic mushroom. Apparently, he has been awoke for 22 hours before he fell asleep at 4 a.m. He woke to find he was in the middle of a non-consensual sex and the woman was screaming. The woman said Ludecky looks completely incoherent. Ludecky said he was completely dazed and in shock. When he learned later that day that police was looking for someone in connection with a sexual assault, Ludecky contacted the police and gave a voluntary statement. The judge accepted that Ludecky's conduct was triggered by the external factors outlined by a sleep expert. According to defense, excessive sleep deprivation, alcohol, genetic predisposition factors, and stress all contributes to circumstances beyond their client control. The judge was satisfied with the defense for his actions. They, you know, he was not responsible for his action because he didn't have conscious control of the action. So they acquitted um, Ludecky. So now they have where they record sleep behavior. There's absolutely no fact that 
polysomnograph find that could possibly have any relevance as to whether the accused was sleepwalking at the time or event in question. What this means is that if you record someone's sleep and discover that it's normal, then it does mean that it has always been normal. The accused person may have been experiencing sexomnia in the past, even if there's no evidence for it in the present. A good example can be seen in the case of State versus Scott, where overnight sleep recording did not demonstrate unusual sexual behavior in sleep. In this case, the court accepted an expert opinion that Scott exhibit sexual behavior in sleep parasomnia based on the defendant's sleep history, as well as supporting evidence from family and sleep partners. Even though the defendant's sleep recording was normal, it might suggest the likelihood of deliberate sexual assault. More important was placed on the historical events. It was that the evidence which exonerated Scott. Now, how is sex zombie diagnosed? Diagnosing, diagnosing sex zombie usually relies on completing a sleep study to try to capture the behavior as it happens or having accounts from a partner, which, if detailed enough, can be significant for a doctor to determine if the behavior is truly sleep sex. When a sleep study is undertaken to diagnose, sexomnia is a person will usually spend several nights sleeping at a sleep clinic. During the sleep study, several measurements are taken while you're sleeping, including brainwave activity, heart rate, and respiration rate, leg and eye movement. This can be used to identify a rule out of the sleep disorder, ultimately or currently diagnose sexomnia. If an episode of sexomnia doesn't occur during the sleep study, then your doctor may recommend undertaking a second study. So, sexomnia is treatable, like I told y'all in the first thing. It can be caused by, you know, I told y'all what it could be caused by. So, if you think you may be experienced sexomnia, it's important, very important that you speak to your health care provider about it, whether your worries are justified or not, leaving them Unaddressed could interfere with your sleep and could lead to developing other sleep disorder as is insomnia, which I suffer from insomnia. So, that is my second version on sex zombie. That's part two on sex zombie. Please um, leave a comment at sv766752 at gmail.com. You can also. Go to Sonia Santiago Facebook, Sonia Santiago Twitter, Sonia Santiago Pinterest, Sonia, I mean, S O N dot I A 9795 Instagram. You can also go to these websites www.wavilo.com. Use promo code Sonia, www. Instacart, use 156. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, you can buy me a coffee. You can also go to my website, http slash slash parchasers.com slash woodpresser.com. Thank you and have a blessed and wonderful night.